We'll continue to talk Tiger Woods with Steve Seabold, former professional tennis player and current middle toughness coach who's worked with top athletes and business leaders around the world. His book, 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World, is a bestseller. And Steve, you say those who believe Tiger will not once again be number one in the world are mistaken. Why? Because a bet against a champion is a bad bet. This guy will be back with a vengeance. You can count on it. What are you seeing, at least early on, and maybe from parts of last year, that has you believing that? Well, any, any great champion who's experienced massive success builds on a belief system that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So in a nutshell, he believes in himself at a level that most people really don't even understand. He's just currently going through all this emotional turmoil, which you can understand. And, uh, and once all that clears, he'll be back. Okay, with his private world altered, his swing now altered, his last win coming in the fall of 2009, how big a play is confidence for Tiger Woods, and, and how is his confidence being affected right now? Well, I think his confidence, confidence is being affected by his emotions, and that's typically what happens when people have things outside in their personal life or sometimes in professional life. Their emotions cloud their ability to, to focus and concentrate and compartmentalize on what they're doing. Things like uh, anything with a, with a, with a motor skill like a, like a golf swing or a tennis swing is going to be usually impacted to a pretty, pretty high degree with that, emotional, that kind of emotional turmoil. If you could coach Tiger on one aspect of his mental game, what would you say to him? It would be to compartmentalize, that he already knows how to compartmentalize better than anyone I've ever seen in golf. He, this guy is really mentally tough at the world-class level. He already knows how to do this. He's just, it slipped a little bit because of, again, because of all the emotion going on in his life. I mean, he just got divorced. He's probably worried about his kids. He's got the media at his door every five seconds. I mean, who, who wouldn't be impacted by that kind of stress? Steve Seabold, I appreciate your expertise and your insights. Thanks, Todd.